everyone and welcome to our week two lesson seven for English. Um, we're going to work through this PowerPoint. If you've got access to internet, then you're listening to my voiceover. Feel free to pause the video whenever you need to complete work and then uh, resume playing the video when you're ready. So for today's lesson, we are going to be working with similar stuff to what we looked at in yesterday's lesson, but this time we're actually going to use some of that evidence from the text um, to relate to one of the describing words for our characters. You might use the words from yesterday or you might come up with a new one. We'll see how we go. So remember this is working off our example text which is Pam and Lily. If you would like to listen to that again, it is at the start of yesterday's voice recording of the PowerPoint which should be on a YouTube link. If you're not sure and you would like this, feel free to send me an email. Okay, so we're gonna be going through and we're gonna be skimming and scanning the text again to find evidence uh, to support why we've used a certain word to describe a character. This evidence might be specific words in the text or it might be uh, a group of words that we then use our own knowledge uh, to become a reason as to why that word describes that character. So here are some examples I, I've gone through just like yesterday's lesson and identified different parts in our story that give us more information about the character of Pam. So very similar things uh, that were circled yesterday because we are looking for the same sort of thing but we're going to be using specific parts from our text today to fill out our worksheet. Okay, so we're looking, I've chosen this page to look at specifically in this part of today's lesson. So it says she did not do what the teacher said, she hit and she kicked the other children. In these specific parts of the text, the author tells us about Pam's actions. Pam does not listen to the teacher and she hits and kicks other children. To me, this means that Pam is rude or mean, or you may even cho choose the word aggressive because of how she acts towards other students. On the next slide, you will see how this can be recorded on the sheet. You need to use evidence from the text, but you may also draw on some of your own understanding to identify the describing word. Okay. So this is how I would enter that onto the sheet. So my describing word that I've chosen is the word mean and the proof from the text, the exact words from the text where she hit and kicked the other children. Uh, and then I've got, I know it's not nice to treat other people this way and is mean. And I also found that all on page one of the text. So I've included that there as well. You can either go and do your own or you can copy mine into your worksheet. Go ahead and do that now um, if you haven't already. Pause the video if you need and play again when you are up to the next part. Okay, so now I would like you to go and have a go and see if you can do another one and find supporting evidence. There will be another example on the next slide I'm about to show you if you get stuck. So if you're going to have a go at doing that one by yourself, make sure you pause the video now because I'm about to go and show you an example of another one you could have done. Okay, so the next example is the word sneaky to, to describe the character of Pam. So the proof from the text that I've used is she hit when the teacher was not looking. So to me, I know that because Pam only hits when the teacher is not looking, she is sneaky. Because if she were to do it while she wasn't well, the teacher wasn't looking, to me she's trying to hide it. She's trying to be sneaky. She doesn't want the teacher to know that she's hitting people because she knows she would probably get into trouble. All right, so that completes our worksheet based on Pam and Lily for today. So just like yesterday, you're now going to go and do the same activity, but for the character of Curly, for the in the text Curly to the Rescue. And just like yesterday as well, please make sure you upload any work onto the OneNote or take a picture or scan in your work and send it to an, uh, in an email to your teacher so we can mark and give you some feedback.